In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for Na2CO3 plus AgNO3. That's sodium carbonate plus silver nitrate. So we have these rules here to guide us. The first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. So it looks like if we put a 2 here and a 2 here, that would balance the molecular equation. Once we've done that, we need to write the states of each of the substances. So sodium compounds usually soluble will write AQ because it'll be dissolved or dissociated into its ions. Silver nitrate, nitrate's very soluble, aqueous. Then we have sodium nitrate, nitrates and sodium both pretty soluble. Put that there, aqueous. And then silver carbonate, let's look that up on a solubility table just to see, make sure we know what state that'll be in. So here's a solubility table. We find silver, that's positive ion, there's silver. And then we're looking for carbonate. Carbonates are right here. So we go down and we see that I there. That tells us that this is insoluble. It's not going to dissociate or break apart into ions. Because of that, it'll be a precipitate. It'll be at the bottom of our test tube as a solid. We're at a solid right there. So we have the states for each of the compounds. Next, we'll split the strong electrolytes into their ions. So things with aqueous here, those are strong electrolytes. In order to split them apart into their ions, we have to look the ionic charge up. So let's do that. Here's a version of the periodic table with the charges written above the groups. So as we look down, we see sodium. That has a 1 plus. All these in group 1 are 1 plus. Carbonate, we don't see. Let's look at the silver. Silver is interesting. It's a transition metal, but it only has one charge, which is 1 plus. So we can put a plus up here. We said plus and for the silver. Plus, the carbonate and the nitrate, we need to look that up on a table of common polyatomic ions or have it memorized. So here's a table of common polyatomic ions. Some teachers let you use something like this. Others want you to memorize it. Check with your instructor. But the carbonate, CO3, if we look down, we find here's a carbonate. It has a 2 minus ionic charge. So we'll put that up there. Nitrate, that is right here. Nitrate has the 1 minus. So we can add the charges up here. And really, for the solid silver carbonate, we don't worry about charge because this is not going to split apart. It's a solid. So we're just going to leave that as silver carbonate. OK. Now we can split these up into their ions because we know the charge. This will give us the complete ionic equation. So we have Na, and we said that's plus. We have two of them. So we'll put a coefficient of 2 in front plus the carbonate, CO3, 2 minus. And I'll write aqueous at the end. I won't write that now. Plus Ag, plus, that's our silver ion. And we have two of those, plus the nitrate ion, NO3 minus. And this two, it applies to the whole compound here. So we have two of those as well. So those are the reactants. For the products, we have Na plus, and again, we have two of those, plus the nitrate, NO3 minus. Again, the two goes to everything, so we have two of those. And then we said the silver carbonate, Ag2CO3, since that's a solid, we're not going to split that apart into its ions. We don't do that in that ionic equations. So this is the total or complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. These appear on both sides of the equation. And because of that, they haven't really changed. We have 2Na plus here, 2Na plus here. So we're not interested in that. It didn't change. For the nitrates, we have a nitrate here, two of them, and two nitrates here. We can cross those out. They didn't change. What we're interested in is what changed. So the carbonate here plus the two silver ions, they came together to form silver carbonate. So this is our net ionic equation. And we can clean it up a little bit and that'll look like this. And this is the net ionic equation for Na2CO3 plus AgNO3, sodium carbonate plus silver nitrate. Sometimes you'll see this 2Ag plus put before the carbonate ion, but either way, it's the same thing. This is our net ionic equation. And this is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for sodium carbonate and silver nitrate. Thanks for watching.